Welcome Pisces. This is your weekly teroscope reading for August the 25th through to the 20 or 31st, 2014. Um, let me take a moment to thank you. Truly, um, your likes, your shares, your favorites. Um, thank you so much for subscribing. Truly, without you, there would be no me. Um, so I'm deeply humbled and do love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So let's get to you because check out these cards um so we start with the high priestess mystery intuition visions uh very spiritual but more than that um if you're looking for love in your life this is um passion romance even um throw in a little bit of lust here if you're trying to grow a relationship to the next level very good energy um, but you will, this week, um, really have an intuitive tap into um, the other side of the veil. So definitely meditate, pray, however you make that connection with the divine this week. Absolutely. Um, God, the universe, your angels, your spirit guides. Um, you'll, you know, your intuition's high, but I think you also have vision. You'll understand where your path is leading. You'll understand why you need to cut certain things out of your life and be very happy to do it. You have a strength, and it's a mystery. It's almost like a new adventure for you. Um, so many of you, I can see new adventures showing up in your life, or perhaps an adventure that has been right on the sidelines, but you have failed to recognize it for whatever reasons. Um, maybe it seemed like too much work. Maybe it seemed like it was an unobtainable goal, but you're starting to see the reality of where you could be, where you could go, how big your dreams can be, and um, how wonderful life can be going forward. Now we have the Empress. Uh, very fertile energy, very fertile energy. So um, if this were a private reading, I would be um, saying if you are trying to grow your family, this would be a very good week for that kind of energy. Um, what are you cultivating? What do you want to grow? What do you want to flourish in your life? That is where your energy is going to be on making those things happen in your life, putting you in the right situations, you saying the right words. Okay, and a lot of that will happen through your meditations, through your prayer time, and understanding what needs to be said or how you need to be in a certain situation at a certain time. Um, many times when I'm doing a personal reading, I tell them that I can tell you everything here, but if you lock yourself in a room for 30 years, it's not going to manifest. I can guarantee it. Um, you need to do the action. You need to make the plan. Okay, now this is all about this week really realizing it, okay? It's not really the action this week. It's realizing what actions need to be taken, okay? Whether or not it's accepting somebody new in your life, cutting somebody else out of your life. Remember, some doors just won't open in front of you until you close those doors behind you, okay? Now, it's all going to be based on your lessons, It's all going to be based on your truth, your vision of tomorrow. Now, I love the way the artist portrays this card, okay? This is somebody, if you can imagine yourself, with this huge sack full of wands, and you are determined on your path. You are going forward on your path, but each step is so hard. It's so daunting. It needs so much energy. And that's because even though you are carrying around some new growth here and some new ideas and some wonderful visions for tomorrow, there's also some wands here that have no growth on them. They're essentially dead. They need to be discarded. The past needs to be left in the past so that you can move forward. Definitely take your lessons with you. Um, but that's it. You don't need to regurgitate your past and wonder where you went wrong or wonder how you could have done it better. You couldn't have done it better. Trust me on that. You had to go through it in such a way that the lesson will help you tenfold down the road. And then we have the Three of Pentacles over here, which tells me, please dream big. Okay, you can't dream big enough. 
your pain and your tomorrow. You're deciding what actions to take. You're deciding who's going to be surrounding you, why they're going to be surrounding you, how they exalt you on your path, what situations you need to put yourself into, and how you want the end result to be, and how beautiful it's going to be. And really, the whole journey will be beautiful if you paint such a portal. It's up to you. Uh, but definitely dream big. Okay, this is um, the wealth, the well-being, the love, the career that you desire. And how much belief you put into yourself that it's going to manifest, that it's going to happen. Okay, and you are really um, going into almost a pause period. Now, the hangman's come up a lot, so a lot of people have this pause this week before they're actually going to do the actions necessary. And um, it's no different for you. You will get messages, some huge messages, some huge aha moments. Um, and perhaps, because we start with the high priestess, some visions of what needs to happen, what's going to happen. Um, and it's your thoughts, okay? Now, you're not struggling here, okay? If I turn the card upside down and put it up there, it's somebody meditating, laying there and meditating and thinking very deeply about what their next plan of attack is going to be, what their next steps are going to be on their path, okay? So you're not struggling here. It's a time out. It's before hitting that fork in the road and going in a certain direction based on everything that you have thought of, everything that you've put through your mind, through your heart, through your soul, on what you need to do, what situations you need to put yourself into, what people you want to go forward with in your path. Who you need to leave behind. And don't worry so much about leaving them behind. Because they need to go forward in their path too. And the longer you kind of stay in a relationship that isn't serving either one of you, the longer it takes to really move forward in each of your paths. So if you ever love that person, then let them go. So that they can be all they can be and you can be all you can be. So until next time we meet, remember, I do love you.